Hello dear subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is me, Vivs from SlideNote here. In this video, I'm gonna save $2000 for you guys by showing you how to run iOS 7 Xcode on Windows which runs Mavericks as of now. So let's talk about the disclaimer first why I did this. I'm a very poor guy. I don't make more than $2000 a whole year. I went to the iStore to know what exactly is the cost of an iMac. And the representative popped up and said the cheapest iMac that we have sir is for two thousand dollars here and I cannot afford that because that's my annual income and hence I was forced to turn back and resort to other measures so if you guys are from Google or Apple who are watching this remember one thing I'm a very passionate guy and I would like to develop stuff but I don't have the money to buy the essential tools and hence I was forced to resort to such measures I would gladly take this video down if you could support me in some way so first things first what do you need for doing this a computer that runs Windows Intel virtualization at hardware level inside your BIOS now unfortunately everyone has a different BIOS and hence I cannot get into the BIOS and show you exactly what needs to be done but I'm sure you guys will figure out if VTX option is there on your computer or not you will need at least 4 GB of RAM and 10 GB of hard drive space Otherwise, well, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. And you also need VMware 9.0 plus version workstation with keys, which you don't worry about because all the links are right below. Xcode 5.0, the setup file again, the links are right below. A pen drive to copy this from your Windows to your Mac setup that we are gonna do. And check the description text of this video for all the links below. Alright, so I have all my packages here. The first thing I'm gonna do is install VMware workstation in front of you. The installation is pretty simple, just click next, I accept next and so on. I will choose custom install just to disable some options like for example product updates and your other thing that is sending anonymous data. So after this step, let VMware perform the installation. You have the keys over here, just use one of the keys from this list. So once the installation is complete, which will take probably around 5 minutes, the installation keys are going to be put up and VMware is all set to run. So you can test it out by starting VMware and there you go, that is running correctly. The next thing that we need to do is run, is to extract our OS X9 VMware image that contains a lot of data that we want. It has our VMX files and other files that will be required by your VMware. So one of the things inside this is a fix for running Mac OS on Windows. Now that fix is inside this folder where there's a readme file where you guys can see everything. For the Windows part of it, all you gotta do is run cmd.exe, come to this folder and run a script which is install.cmh or something like that. So let me come to the current folder here, go cd slash VMware unlocker so once you are inside the VMware 8, 9, 10 series folder there is a folder called VMware workstation for Windows it's right here VMware Workstation Unlocker Windows right there. So inside inside this folder, there is a script which is called install.cmd. So just run that script over here by saying install.cmd, and you will see a set of things running inside your command prompt. And make sure that your VMware is exited by all means when you are doing this because you don't want that to interrupt with your VMware installation. So once that is done, it will say finished over here, and you guys can see that clearly. That means it has been successfully patched to put up your OS X inside it. The next thing that you need to do is go to the folder OS X9 Mavericks, select the VMX file out of this folder, and there you go, that's our Mavericks up and running. Just power this on, and as you guys notice, it says something, just say I copied it over there. And this is gonna take a good amount of time. It will take estimated 10 minutes for this thing to start, but I'm skipping everything. And you should see the screen where it is asking you about the country. So I will select my country, India, over here. Continue. And then it will select 
what's keyboard layout again no don't transfer any information currently continue and it will ask you your Apple ID now since I already have an ID I'm gonna put that if you don't have one you can go and create it it's free of cost you can just go to apple.com create a new Apple ID from there I'm just entering my details hit continue again it'll say allow iCloud to use the location of this Mac no not needed so I'm gonna click not now right there and then it's saying something about Mac not being eligible to create Apple accounts use a different ID yeah yeah continue agree the terms click agree and now it's gonna ask me to enter my details for this computers account which is gonna be Viv's slide note for the full name the account name will be generated automatically the password I'm gonna just keep as one two three for this because this is my local password on the computer and the hint I'm gonna keep as one two three as well and let and there's no need to send any anonymous data to Apple Apple already has more than enough data about you uh, the hint cannot contain the password ooh that's smart alright no problems I'll enter one two three over there and click continue so if everything goes well at this point the account has been created it says register the Mac don't register right now just click continue over there yeah skip and this is again gonna take a little amount of time for setting up your Mac for the first time it's starting you can go to full screen mode in VMware at it which is at the top and there you go BAM that's our Mac running Mac OS X9 Mavericks running right inside Windows now all we gotta do is just go ahead and see some settings so first I'm gonna log out I mean shut down this current system I'm gonna make some changes to the settings in my uh, virtual machine I'm gonna go there on OS X Mavericks right click the memory it says is 1 GB currently so go here the settings let's increase that to 8 GB since I have 16 GB of RAM I'll be giving 8 GB to Mac two processors two cores yep two cores per processor hard disk space 38 GB free that is that is fine that's not necessary at all and check the other settings make sure the USB controller is also working and there are some other options as you guys can see over there sound card auto detect display auto detect network adapter okay everything else looks pretty normal again there's shared folders I'm gonna enable that for now but it doesn't work for some reason on my computer maybe on yours it works and everything else looks pretty plain and normal there's nothing great about it unity appliance view auto login advanced alright click ok let's power this baby on with a new configuration that I've just set up which is 8 GB of RAM and here's Xcode right here again on my desktop I'm gonna copy this to my pen drive because that is the simplest and shortest way that I found out for putting this inside my uh, Mac OS X just copy this to the pen drive currently so now I'll go inside my Mac inside the computer unplug the pen drive and plug it back again and it gets detected whoa that's magic right and then inside this we have our X code which is copied just take it out put it on the desktop and this is again gonna take some time but I have skipped the video so don't worry about it at, at, after it has been copied just click on run and it should again take some time verifying stuff you could skip this step but I suggest let it verify whatever shit it wants to verify first right so ultimately it will say it will give the option saying drag to install Xcode inside your application folder so perform the drag and it will start a copy process which copies approximately around 5 GB to the applications and ultimately you will see Xcode here in the application section once the copying has been done which again I have fast forwarded because there is no need for you to sit and watch that so ultimately it says agree the license yeah it will ask you to enter the password for the system that you chose I selected 123 remember 
and that's the password I enter over here and then it says installing components again I'm gonna skip this so that you guys don't have to see this and ultimately everything looks good just go down and there you go create a new Xcode project just select that let's just test something it's gonna start it's gonna say okay iOS let's take a single view application for now and just get this thing started so click next over there and it's gonna ask me the name of the product I'm gonna give it as test company identifier I'm gonna give it a slide nerd over here click next and it, it's gonna ask me where to save the project it's on my desktop for the Mac and then there's there you go it's doing something it's building things up again there's gonna be a permission section now it's gonna say permission to use this Mac as a developer machine or something like that there you go enable developer mode yep enable again it's gonna ask you the same password I believe yep one two three that's the password I put up at the start and ultimately it's building stuff and build succeeded okay there's our emulator up and running so wait for the emulator to start for some time and there you go that's our first application which is getting launched which is completely blank right now so if you guys are watching this and if you did work this out then please like this channel subscribe to our channel let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below and also I have managed to save fifteen hundred dollars at least for you guys if this is working for you so please return the favor by donating something on PayPal to the given address wake dot nine eight nine one at gmail dot com thank you very much I'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day